All right, good afternoon, everyone. I just want to say welcome to Fungram. My name is Mark, your main host. And today we are over at Disney California Adventure to check out the festival holidays, to try out their food and more. Uh, if you haven't hit that like, subscribe to my channel, please do, do so now where I go to more fun and unique places, theme parks, and eat any delicious food in the area. Otherwise, enjoy the video. All right, so it's currently around 2.50 right now. And I'm currently sitting in one of those areas right here nearby Grizzly Peak area. Just relaxing, just taking my time. And I'm gonna be start eating soon in a bit. All right, everyone. This is what this year's looks like a festival of holidays, the Sip and Saver Pass looks like. It is uh, only for Disney California Adventure. As you can see right here, you can see like eight different tabs here to look at. I'm just gonna let you know ahead of time, it is uh, $54 for Magic Key Holders and $59 for General Purchase. And you can only use it for their food, not all beverages, and that is it basically. Right, so as you can see here, you can use it at the market, uh, marketplace, like the boots, when you go in here. All this different food, what I was mentioning earlier, and all the drinks you can use for. Here, a little look right here. And also, you can use it at the selected restaurants that are available to use those uh, tabs right here. Just give it a look right here. If you need to pause, like what's on the menu item, just pause on the video. Just a little table here, if you are a Magic Key holder, you do get this really awesome looking Festival Holidays uh, lanyard right over here. Exclusively for Magic Key holders. So if you're wondering where all the boots are at, so there's one right over here, right in front of me, headed. And you're going to walk along this whole main path. It's going to take you all the way near, like nearby um, the Little Mermaid attraction right over there. You'll see some more boots around there. And there's like a last boot nearby the, Zep the Golden Zephyr uh, attraction over there too. So you'll see these boots on the way going over there. Alright, so the first boot I'm going to try out is called the Holiday Duets. There is a couple items I want to try over here. I'm going to show you what the menu looks like really quick. Alright, so on the Holiday Duets menu, you're going to see a Southern Mac and Cheese right here. That is new yes. for this year. And another returning favorite. Actually, this year is the Pork Belly Adobo. And we got this new drink here. Is this drink right here. I want to say this is new also. Alright, I'm going to get a couple items here. I'm going to let you know what I tried. So the first item I'm going to be trying is the Southern Mac and Cheese, as you can see right over here. You got a Cajun Mac and Cheese with some Adouille sausage and some Pecco breadcrumbs. So I'm going to try this really a bit. Try a couple bites. You know what? First bite I get. It says the Cajun spice, it has a little spice, so just be aware of that. For cheesiness, it's actually, it looks a little more greasier than I thought. But I'm gonna try with the Dewey sausage now. Mm. You know what? There is so much spice going on here. I mean, for me, I can handle spice, but for a lot of people, it is gonna be a little bit on the spice side, so just give me the heads up right there. Oh yeah. A lot of spice, just be aware of that. The so dirty sausage is a little bit, there's a little, a little much salt, so, or saltiness, just be aware of that. Right. <laughs> With the mac noodles, to me, it's actually a little bit on the drier side. So I don't know what happened. Usually mac and cheese is usually like cheesy and creamy, but all I taste is like noodles personally. For me, I would give this a 3 out of 5 because it is has the spice from the Dewey sausage and the Cajun spice and the mac and cheese. I just wish it was more cheesier and the fact that it is a little bit, the noodles are dry. Like I'll just taste these dry noodles. Otherwise, it's not bad. But I wish it was a little bit more uh, creamier personally. All 
right, so the next dish I'm gonna be trying out is a uh, reimagine of a, a classic Filipino dish called dobo. In this case, it's a pork belly dobo. It does have the pork belly itself right here. It's some garlic fried rice and some, I know it's hard to tell, but these little things are uh, pork rinds right here or chicharrones pieces. So I'm gonna take a little bite and I'll just tell you how it is on the spot. So get the piece of the pork belly first. It's a little tough, but to cut. Oh, I'm getting a big piece. Oh. So trying the pork, the, it does melt in your mouth. It seems a little tough at first, but getting a little bite. Hold on. Get one more bite. Oh yeah. It is definitely melts in your mouth from the pork belly. I think it's sitting a little longer, but it's okay. It's still like really it has that fatty and also that meaty texture of the pork. And then let's try the garlic fried rice right here. Mmm. I wish it was more in your face, like a garlic, super garlicky fried rice, but it's still like there for how it is. It does, since I'll be honest, since I'm a little bit. Filipino. It does remind me of home, but let's get one more bite right here really quick of the fried rice. Try with the pork belly. Mm. It's a returning favorite from last year. This is one of the dishes I would actually recommend getting personally. This one, I would, this time I would actually give it a four out of five because I feel like the meat was a little bit more a little tough, but it's still it's still good for what it is. I'll admit that. For a reimagine, it is really good. So I'll definitely recommend this at the Holly Duets booth right there. So the next booth we're gonna be trying out is a grandma's recipe. As we look more in detail the menu, first of all you see a impossible meatloaf and mashed potatoes right here on the first item. The next item you get a pumpkin layer cheesecake. And you got this hummingbird cocktail and his other items here. Let's see why I try. Alright, so the first item we're going to be trying out from Grandma's Recipe is this lovely impossible meatloaf here with mashed potatoes. And I want to say shallots or chai, yeah, shall, uh, fried shallots. Look at this right here. It looks like a regular meatloaf, to be honest, so far when I'm looking at it. And then just try a first bite of this meatloaf. Yeah, I'm cutting to it. Woo. All right, so it does cut like a regular meatloaf so far by looking at it. Try a first bite. Oh, wow. If you were to tell me that this is regular meatloaf, I'm shocked because this is like really good for what it is. It does have like some ketchup on here and some of this like this brown gravy sauce here. It's so it feels like homemade, to be honest. Mm. It feels like eating like a hearty meatloaf and all that. It tastes like real meat, to be honest. I would definitely recommend this. Well, let's try the mashed potato with it. Hold on. Mm. You know that mashed potato? Yes, it tastes homemade too. Eat it with this uh, brown gravy or demi gloss or whatever it is. This is. I would actually recommend this. Actually, I would give this a a five out of five. I'm drooling over this by drill rating it does it just feels like a, a homemade meatloaf even though it is surprising this is all plant-based so I recommend this all right so the next uh, 
Item here from from Grandma's recipe is this uh, seventh this layered che uh, pumpkin cheesecake right here. Looks beautifully ducked out right here. So I'm gonna take a first bite right here really quick. Oh, get that. Ooh. This one's definitely rich and creamy. Very light, surprisingly, for this pumpkin pumpkin part right here. You know what? I'm surprised this is not overly sweet for what it is. But I'm gonna let you know this is a lot right now by looking at the portion size. So I recommend you share this with someone because this is a lot already. And it's kind of rich. It gets rich after all. Ooh, I can smell. I can definitely taste the spice. I think it's the chantilly or the cheesecake. Otherwise, I see I taste like a spice bar. But for this, I would recommend this. I give this a perfect score, five out of five. I'm drooling over this right now, to be honest. Oh yeah, it's a lot. So shareable, recommend this. All right, to my next item, really quick. So the last item I got from Grandma's Recipe is this uh, adult beverage here. It is a uh, hummingbird cocktail right here. So think of like a hummingbird cake. It usually has bananas, uh, pecans, like Chantel whipped cream and all that. Kind of like almost a take on maybe a carrot cake, but like how it looks, but tastes like more like a cinnamon sweetness. It's gonna be, uh, the base of this cocktail has a banana like liqueur and a bourbon so I'm gonna try it out really quick mmm wow that is very heavy but also very sweet has that bourbon taste to it so it's almost tasting like drinking a a hummingbird cake so if you plan to get one of these treats you have to be 21 over to get this, but I recommend getting this drink. I am dueling over this, so I'll give it as a 5 out of 5 right now. Oh yeah, it's like drinking a hummingbird cake. Definitely recommend it. Alright, so the next booth I'll be trying out for the festival holidays is going to be a winter cider land. I'll show you what the menu we have here really quick. So I'm going to show you this menu here. We got a holiday ham slider, a brisket slider here. A tiramisu law cocktail and this cherry mango punch right here. I'm gonna get myself the food right here or maybe a drink or so. I'm gonna get a table. I'm gonna see what I got. Alright, so the first item I'm gonna be trying from the Winter Ciderland is this holiday slider here. So it does have ham, grayer, and like a cranberry bacon jam. So I'm gonna take a little bite of this salt pepper brioche right here too, so. Mm. Kinda got that sweet tartness like from the cranberry part of this bacon jam right here. You know what? I'm surprised this ham doesn't taste like anything special, in my personal opinion. <coughs> and the greer, <coughs> sorry, the greer cheese can't really taste much of it. Hold on, one more bite. Everything just to me just tastes neutral. So we're just bacon jam here. Try a little corner. Oh yeah. What's popping out for me is this uh, bacon jam. It's a uh, sweet tart and also salty too from the bacon. But the slider doesn't seem too special to me. But it's still good regardless. So I would give this maybe like a four out of five. 
I'm not completely drooling out of this, but it's really good for what it is, so. Alright, let's go try the next item. Alright, so the next item I'm going to be trying over here is this uh, brisket slider here. It does have brisket, uh, smoked onions, and a horseradish ketchup per se. And also, a, it's on a pretzel roll, so I'm going to try this out really quick. Try a couple bites. So, that's a lot of meat right there, so it's a lot. So I'm going to try this out. Ooh. So this brisket helped my, when taking the first bite, the brisket is like literally melting in my mouth, so. So I'll try another bite with the smoked onion here. Mm. The brisket has some pepperiness to it. I could do definitely taste the smoked onions first. Onions here. I do not taste much of the hard rice ketchup, so to me it's like it's just neutral to me. But otherwise, I would definitely get this. I would kind of drooling, drooling because of the brisket. Take one more bite to be sure. Oh yeah. I definitely reckon recommend getting this. I say a five out of five. This I'm like drooling over this right now. I'm gonna try one more last item. I'm gonna get going over here. Alright, so the last item I want to try from Winter Ciderland is this uh, adult beverage here. It is a tiramisu yulog cocktail. So it's like a take on a tiramisu cake with vodka. The main liqueurs I was looking at earlier is vodka, like a hazelnut liqueur. It also has like a tiramisu syrup, oats milk, some other things here. So let's try it out. A little shot. Ooh, tastes like eating your tiramisu cake here. Really good. It is adult beverage and is not part of the Super Saver Pass, so it is a la carte. So you do have to purchase this a la carte and you have to be 21 or older to drink this. But after taking the first couple of sips, it feels like drinking a tiramisu cake. So I would definitely, I am drooling over this in my mouth, so you know my rating by now, it is going to be a 5 out of 5, a Joel rating, because I'm drooling over this drink right here. And it will creep up. That's what I've been told from the cast members I was giving this drink earlier. So, And I'm drinking this like it's nothing right now, but I know it's going to probably creep up. But a little warning there if you're not used to drinking that much. But it's, I like you do taste a little bit of vodka, but... It'll creep up, trust me. But anyways, I'll definitely recommend this. And let's go try out the next booth. All right, so the final booth, I'm gonna be trying out the part one of my uh, series of trying out the different foods for festival holidays. It's called Favorite Things. And I'm gonna show you what is here to try out. As you can see over here, you got the chicken marcella, this cold food cocktail, the latte right here, and this uh, hot cocoa macaroon. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be trying out here. Let me just go grab it and I'll show you what I'm getting. Alright, so the first item we're gonna be trying from favorite things is this tiki chicken tiki tarmarasala. We got this uh, basami rice here, so the chicken, and you got some these uh Pita, I think it was pita bits right here. So I'm gonna just try a couple bites right here and tell you how it is. Mmm.
for the reimagine. This has a really strong like curry spice. So it's really strong. I'll tell you that right now for what it is. This right here, this right here is really fluffy. Yeah, it does have a strong taste curry flavor to it, so just give it a heads up, but I love it personally, but for those try with this uh, bread here. You know what? To me, I don't like this being like a, almost like a crouton-ish because it's baked really, but for me, but this is really strong flavors. You'll get, you'll eat normal uh, Marcella curry at any Indian restaurant. Personally, it could be a little bit stronger, but for being reimagined here, it is, that's a strong curry flavor. I am actually drooling over this. I'm gonna take a couple more bites, a little more bite at least. Oh yeah. The cilantro helps cut down the curry. I would definitely give this a five out of five. I am definitely doing over this. And then I try one more item from this uh, booth right here. So the last uh, dish I'm gonna be trying from favorite things is this uh, macaroon. It is inspired from the Santa Claus uh, Disney Plus series. It is a cold take on a hot chocolate. So I'm gonna try this red macaroon with this uh, chocolate ganache here. Take a little bite. It might be a little bit messy, just give it, oh, it is a little messy already. Just be careful. Should take a little quick bite. Mm. You can taste the hot cocoa in here. That ganache is not over sweet. Cooking is sweet though, I'll tell you that. That ganache is going to kind of like dilute that sweetness a little bit. That is really, really tasty. Surprising light, very sweet. In the cookie part. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I see the chocolate part. Mm. Hold on. The chocolate here. Ooh, has a dark chocolate flavor. Semi sweet. To me, I'll definitely. Drooling over this, I would definitely recommend this. It's a 5 out of 5 for me. Otherwise, that is all from that booth. And we'll see what's going on with more food. I'll try it in a bit. Alright, everyone. I finally finished all the tabs right here. I am down to eating this last piece of the food from the last tab. I thought I was going to eat more. But otherwise, I'm getting very, very full. But as I just want to say thank you very much for joining this foods I've been trying out throughout the whole day and if you haven't hit the like or subscribe to this channel please do so now it helps spread more adventures like this and I'm introducing myself really quick my name is Mark I am fun grub here I like to eat a lot of delicious food having fun at unique places and also having fun at the theme parks too otherwise enjoy, enjoy the rest of your night and have a good night everyone